All right, Shane. Well, speaking of Missouri, they're hosting the South Carolina Gamecocks. And right now, where I've got it, Bet MGM, Missouri is a one point favorite. I've seen some books have mm-hmm. South Carolina as a slight favorite. So, really, I mean, you can really call this one a pick em pretty much. Yeah. Over under is 54 and a half points. The game kicks off at 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central on the SEC network. Last season, Missouri won 17 to 10. And I believe this was, uh, they met right after Will Muschamp had gotten fired. So, mm-hmm. you know, this is a, a really, really tight series being played in Missouri, Columbia. Who do you like in the matchup? Yeah, um, this is one of those where surprised there's not a trophy here. Uh, maybe there is, and I don't know, a <laughs> Columbia trophy or something. But, yeah, this is one of those games you think about in years past. There's There's been some doozies, man. I think of the – the flood game, you remember that one? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the, the golden goose. I, I I think of all the good times that has come from this. But you know, I'm a firm believer in momentum, Mike. I, you know, I I know some people don't think it's a real thing, but I I do, man. I I've South Carolina was in the dumps a few weeks ago, Mike. I yeah. mean, there was no hope. There was. There was uh, the, the the South Carolina boards were going off about, you know, did we make a mistake in hiring Coach Beamer and mm-hmm. all this stuff and blah, 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 blah. But then everything changes when you win, you know. <laughs> it, it does. You beat the Florida Gators, even though Florida Gators are, are on a down or a spiral. It's like – that was that's the life that's the jolt of life you needed to know that this works that this coaching staff works that these players work and that's exactly what South Carolina found last week was their identity man they were able to throw the ball they were able to run the ball they were able to play tough defense up front and I think that's what they continue to do this week poor Missouri I felt like they, I don't know, man, coming out of that Georgia game, it felt like, hey, now, Mizzou, what are we doing here? And then all of a sudden they got away from what was working and then they kind of fell apart, which I think just about every team that plays Georgia Bulldogs are going to. But mm-hmm. you got two teams on a different path, and that's why I like South Carolina to win this game. I uh, still think it's close, but uh, give me the Gamecocks, 28, Mizzou, 24. Ooh. Yeah, I like a lot of what you had to say, Shane. I mean, this game means a lot for both the head coaches, I really think, because mm-hmm. obviously if South Carolina wins it, they make a bowl game. If yep. Missouri wins it, they're one step closer. I don't think Missouri's got any shot at the postseason if they lose this one, because if they do, mm-hmm. that means they got to beat Florida and, and Arkansas back-to-back to close out the season. you got to think those odds are pretty slim. And I think that's a, a jump start, really, on the on the next season, Shane, because you get the, you know, the bowl practices and everything. And these two coaching staffs with these two rosters, they desperately need those. So, so much on the line in this game. Jason Brown's going to start for the Gamecocks once again. But what was the key for the Gamecocks last weekend in that upset win over Florida, Shane? It was the ground game and getting. Mm-hmm. I believe it was 286 rushing yards on Florida, 8.8 yards on average on first down. That just made things so much easier for the inexperienced quarterback, at least at this level. He came from FCS, obviously, but that's what they're going to need to do here on the road at Missouri. I know it's not, you know, it's not going to be an incredible hostile environment. I wouldn't think uh, up there in Missouri this time of year with, uh, you know, the Tigers falling below expectations but it's still on the road so key to key to the game is going to be running the ball and basically all season i mean if you had to run the ball on one sec defense (laughs) it's the missouri tigers that you wanted to Mm -hmm. to be facing now missouri did they really did an outstanding job against georgia slowing them down on the ground i know they did end up allowing 168 yards but that's deceiving go back and watch that game for basically the entire first half, they've stifled Georgia's rushing yeah. attack, made Stetson Bennett beat him, which he did. Let's give him credit. But maybe Missouri's figured something out there. So, I mean, this is a complete toss-up to me, Shane. And the fact that Missouri's run defense looks a lot better makes me think the Tigers can get it done. But here's the here's the key difference, Shane. If Connor Basilak 
if he was 100% healthy and I knew he was starting, I'd pick the Missouri Tigers. I'd pick Tyler right. Beatty to win this football game. I think it's going to be the uh, the backup quarterbacks that we saw last week, Macon and Cook. I think those are going to be the guys mm-hmm. based on everything I'm hearing. So considering the fact that Missouri's not going to have their starting quarterback in this matchup and considering everything you just said, the momentum is real. I'm right mm-hmm. there with you, brother. I'm going South Carolina Gamecocks, 27, Missouri, 24. And what a hell of a job, Shane Beamer and company. If they can get this team to a bowl game oh my gosh. after some of the performances we've seen this year, that's all you can ask for if you're a Gamecock fan. You know what? Absolutely, absolutely, man. You know, they always talk about these these coaches of the year, you know. To, to do that, if you could close out – man, just think about that. You close out these guys – you beat uh, you, you beat Clemson. I mean, there's a real possibility that we're looking at South Carolina at the end of the season as a real success story. So, you do that by securing a bowl bid. You do that by beating a team like Mizzou. And I will say this, Mike. I'm, I know I've been pumping up South Carolina here. Here's a Mizzou squad that, like I said, looked really good the first half against Georgia. You, you hit the nail on the head. They were able to stop the running game. Uh, it felt like there was some confidence back there with the quarterback until they start, you know, tossing that position around a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's it, you, Mizzou needs home field advantage. They need the fans to be out there. They need to make it a tough environment for South Carolina because if you can hear your audibles, if you can hear your players, then uh, things move a little bit smoother on offense. So I think that's the key. It's just – Fan support. Have you gave up on Eli and company? And if you did, South Carolina wins this thing. But if you can load and pack that house and make some noise and get rowdy, I mean, it's a, it's it's going to be a hell of a game. It's going to be 4 o'clock. There's no reason. It's not a nooner. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so, it, it should – it should. It's. I think this is on the fans. Who If the fans show up, Mizzou can win. If they don't, South Carolina is going to walk away with another victory. And this has got to be a game where you, you ask Tyler Beatty to put the team on his back, and he can do it. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely.